dancing in front of the video. Isn't this great? Again, video will play after the ad. Can you believe this? Can you believe? Is it on? Is it on? How's my hair? Is my hair good? Is my hair good? I don't see anything. It's dark. Oh, there I Oh, there's an opening. There's an opening. Oh, that's incredible. Beautiful. All right, I guess I'll, I guess I'll get in the place right now. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay. How's my hair? Is it okay? Looks good. Fantastic. Looks good. There we go. There we go. I'm in the light now. I'm in the light. It's very wavy. It's very wavy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, uh, Mr. Go ahead, make some noise. Good morning, make Mr. Some President. Noise. Come on, let's morning, hear it. Let's hear it. Hello, everybody. Woo! We are here in the press room. The press room. It's a replica of the press room at the uh, White House, but we're in here at Mar-a-Lago, which is easily worth two, three billion dollars. Judge Angeron had it all wrong. He had it all wrong, but we're very excited. Now, before we get started, we had some technical difficulties last week. We fired all those people, terrible people, bad hombres and nasty women. But now we have good technical people. So we're going to go around the room. We have a lot of press. We have a lot of press. We're going to start with my fantastic assistant, aide de camp, uh, Cass, Cass, uh, why don't you talk? Let us know if you can hear each of these voices, folks, on the microphone. Okay, go ahead. Hello, everyone. Check, check, check. Good morning to everyone in the chat. Can everyone hear in the chat? Hear, hear her clearly? It's not an echo. It's not an echo. All right, just let us know. And then we'll move on. We have a very good, a tremendous guy. I've known this guy for many, many, very honest, very honest guy. Uh, want to introduce yourself? Great to be here this morning, Mr. President. Uh, I am Chip Nugget. Chip Nugget. Chip Nugget. We've known Chip a long time. Folks, can you hear Chip Nugget? Can you hear Chip Nugget? Let us know if you can hear Chip Nugget. You're here. I'm here. He's here. And Chip's a great guy. He's been around a long time. What are they, too close, not far away? How, how is it? Chip's, Chip's about 110. That's what we love about Chip. He's been around a lot, but he's honest. He's honest. He's going to have great questions for us. Can, did everybody hear him? All right, let's move on to Chet. On to Chet. Chet, can everybody hear you? Go ahead, talk. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Chet Stedman reporting live, KTMV2 News. Very pleasure to be here uh, with you, Mr. President. Fantastic. Chet's a good guy. Did everyone hear Chet? Let us know if you heard Chet. That's very important. Chet, loud and clear. Can you hear me? All right. Do they, are they hearing these people? Oh, perfect. All right, over here. Lovely lady. Good to see you again. You're I'm back. Glad to be back. It's Misty Butternut with Show Buzz tonight, and I'm very, very pleased to be back. Love, love, love Misty. Misty and I were up in the main dining room alone for a few minutes. She's so pretty. I just wanted to kiss her. I just wanted to kiss her. But I know if I do that, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. So I did. Right? Good. I, Misty, wasn't I very nice? Wasn't I very professional? Yes. Presidential? Would you say I was presidential? Very. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got people in the chat room, which I think is tremendous. I can't read it, but I know they're in there. We're going to be getting your questions live. Did someone make a donation already? Oh, my. Who's that, sweetie? Who's that? Who is it? You got a donation from Lisa Mitchell. Oh, Lisa. She know, Lisa was first in the chat. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. I think we'll just go ahead and throw out her question. Good. And then I'll do my opening statement. Go ahead. Uh, hello, Mr. President. You often lament that so and so, the DA, the judge, yes. etc. Terrible hates people. You. Yeah, they all hate me. They all hate me. Is there anyone you think that loves you? Well, I I think uh, Melania loves me. We're hoping she's going to show up uh, today. I heard she was going to be here. Avanka, Avanka loves me. Uh, all my MAGA people. They absolutely love me. Great people, fantastic I people. Rudy, love Rudy loves me. He's, uh, he's going down for me, which I really appreciate, Rudy, because we can't raise the kind of money you need. So Rudy's put up his apartment in New York City, and it's worth $6.5 million, and I think that should really cover a lot of his bills. So I hope that's enough, Lisa. A lot of people, Lisa, you love me. You love me. You've contributed money to my legal fund. My legal fund, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So to all of you joining us. Oh, we got a hat already. Hold on, folks. Okay, here we go. Pachir, 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 pachir. For those of you on the YT and the FB, you can't see it, but we're also on the tickety duck. The tickety duck, and we're doing hats on the tickety duck. So I'm right here going pachir, 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 pachir. And I'm getting mavericky like Sarah Palin Thanks used to do. So I'm getting chat. very, very mavericky. Uh, right now, I want to just start off. First off, welcome all of you on the YT. 
All of you on the Tickety Talk, all of you on the Facebook, if you are watching and you're not a member or a subscriber, number one, on, on YT, subscribe. Number two, join me. Join me. There's all kinds of perks. We have a membership now. We have membership. It's absolutely fantastic. You should be watching here on the YT. That way you can contribute to me and uh, join the channel. Lots and lots of fun things, special things, things that only you will get when you become a member, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, as you all know, I had quite a week, quite a week uh, in, in New York uh, where, like, the, like Lisa Mitchell, Mitchell mentioned, they hate me. They absolutely hate me. Uh, the judge, Judge Angeron, is a horrible, horrible judge. And then uh, peekaboo, peekaboo. Now, Fannie Willis is in, in Georgia, but uh, in New York, it's Leticia. Leticia, Queen Leticia, Queen Leticia. She thinks she's so smart, thinks she's so smart. But I snuck in the McDonald's in the back door and no one knew about that. We had a fantastic lunch. I had like two or three Big Macs. And I think McDonald's fries are the best fries because they dip them in grease. Great grease, tremendous grease, probably the best grease that you get your hands on, which I think is really, really wonderful. But we're going to have a uh, this trial. It's a sham, Thanks scam, slim flam chat. trial in New York. Uh, I had to leave. I had to leave because I had to come back here to do this press conference. They say I ran out. I fled. They use the word fled. How many times do you hear the word fled? I rarely hear the word fled. And the only time I hear the word sled is at Christmas. So fled they're using for me, and they're going to use sled at Christmas. And by the way, it's almost that time. And remember when it was illegal to say Merry Christmas under Obama? Under Obama, you couldn't say Merry Christmas. It was outlawed. But now you go to Macy's or Target or uh, Kmart. Is Kmart still open? No? Okay. Uh, Walmart. Now they could say Merry Christmas, but it was against the law. But now you won't go to jail for saying it. And Obama's gone. And I'll be back in soon because right now, who do we have? We've got Sleepy Joe. Oh, oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, come on. That's sarsaparilla. <laughs> Malarkey. Oh, gosh, man. Let me tell you something. This guy. Oh, and by the way, by the way, and I'm sure it's going to come up in the questions, and I'll answer it as many times as you like, but uh, I, what, did, what, did, what did Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, who's, who's causing all this legal stuff against me, what did he say? He said, oh, uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, I think we should build a wall. We should build a wall. 20 miles of wall. The, what was I doing, folks? I was building a wall, and they said, oh, no, 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 sir, 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 you can't build a wall, and people, you, you can't let the people in. Guess what? Now Sleepy Joe's building a wall, 20 miles of wall, which he's going to tear down, uh, but he's going to build the wall now. So who's, 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 who's Trumpy now? He's Trumpy, and I'm up here talking to you people. All right, let's go with our first question. Do we have a question from the Tickety Talk or the FB or the YT or the anything else? We're going to go to my good, good friend. friend. My, my good, good friend. friend. Yeah, hey, Mr. President. How are you, buddy? Chip Nugget again. Chip, the chipster. Uh, the chipster. The, uh, Burlington uh, comfy flannel. Uh -huh. uh, Mark Erskine uh, wants to know, isn't it time they redid Mount Rushmore to include you? I have been saying this all along, Chip. I've been saying this all along. Who do they have up there? They've got, uh, you know, they've got Lincoln, whose wife was maybe a three. George Washington, who he had, he had like really bad teeth. They've got Teddy Roosevelt, who I actually like. I like him. He was a rough rider, which I had no idea was gay. And then the other guy who's up there, too. Who's up there? Who's the fourth guy? Does anyone know the fourth guy? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. And what did he do? He slept around. Did he get, did he, you know, uh, was it Dusky Sally? He didn't get in trouble for that. But I have one porn star and the country loses its mind. It's sad. It's really, really sad. But I think with me up there, it'll be a fantastic. And we've already raised the money, folks. We, we did Fourth of July there one year. So let's get me on the face of Route, Route Mushmore, and I think it'll be really, really incredible. And I hear if they have my face there, the ticket sales are going to way up, way up. We have a question? We have a question? Uh, Mr. President, you got a donation for your legal fund oh, from fair. Nancy Ward for $20. Nancy, I love you, Nancy. Come to Mar-a-Lago. We'll do a round of golf, and I won't cheat, I promise. I promise. Thank you so much for that $20. Said, Thank you for keeping Trump funny. Thank you so much. I, I love I love these. They can be light and fun, and I don't have to get upset like I do in New York with the the fake 
trial uh, where they say things aren't worth what they're always worth, but they should be worth that because I've always said sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. And some days I'll say one thing and some days I'll say another, but that's how brands are. That's how brands are. Do we have a question over here, Misty? I love subscribers. Many, many people. Many, many people. Big, strong men with tears in their eyes. Go ahead. this mm. past week, that this was all about raising uh, money for your campaign. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It was about raising money for my campaign because they let me come out at every break and I could do a stand. It's going to stand up. You know that. You're in the reporting business. But listen, listen, it was very tough for me to sit there because I have so many things on my mind because I'm a stable genius. But then they would lie. They would lie. And this judge, this terrible fascistic uh, fish sticks judge who's a communist, Marxist, That's socialist. He looks chat. like Larry David, but unattractive. How's that possible? I mean, it's unbelievable. How, how, how unattractive can you be? And it turns out, and it turns out his clerk which is basically his assistant, like his right arm. She's sleeping with Chuck Schumer. She's sleeping with crying Chuck. Why would anybody sleep with him? And then post a photo about it. This is how corrupt this system is. And I'm glad I was there. And I think I changed the judge mind because, you know, this is what I do. I'm a negotiator. And I wrote probably one of the greatest books of all time, The Art of the Deal. It's my favorite book. My second favorite book is The Bible, which, I, from what I understand, I'm going to be in the new version coming out very, very soon. So, And how do I look, everybody? Let me know how I look in the thing. My hair, I ran down here because I had to do um, I had a round of golf today three holes in one three holes in one again and again I've won the uh, the the uh, championship here at Mar-a-Lago 39 years in a row I just keep winning so much winning and that's what we're gonna do when I'm back in office all right here we go do we have a question anybody do you have any Mr. questions your chat step in KTN v do do news. Uh, yes. Sleepy Joe wants to know why do you hate electric cars so much? Well, I hate electric cars because it's like if you sit on them, they get very, very hot. They get very, very hot. You do not want that happening, if you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to be sitting in the boats. They have the boats with electricity now, and the boats will sink. And what do you, you, you want to sit on a nuclear reactor when you go down in a boat? I don't think so. So we should have fossil fuels made out of dinosaurs, which was the pet of Joe Biden. This is the problem with this. We have plenty and plenty of oil, but we don't have a lot of batteries. You don't have to make oil. The earth, the earth makes oil. We make batteries. Why do we have to make batteries when we could Drill it out of the ground. Drill, baby, drill, like Sarah Palin said, which I think is absolutely incredible. It wasn't she a knockout when she was younger, but not so much now because she's getting older. and She's a grandma. But listen, electric cars are no good for any. And, and I like Elon. I like Elon a lot. He's a wonderful guy, but I'm not sitting there. I'm not driving around on a battery. Are you driving around on a battery? I don't think so. Next question. Hello, this is von Stufenhausen reporting live. Oh, the German Park. people. Yes. I love the German people. Thanks Hold on one second, Hans. Hold on one chat. second. I guess yes. I have a little bit of... Jens, little Jens bit of von Stufenhausen. Uh, nice bottle control. It's very nice. I got it. I just want to everyone to say that how big my hands look with this tiny, uh, this big bottle. This is a full-size bottle. That is a 50 liter. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. I never did the metric system. I never understood. We tried. We tried. But I like, I like American yeah, numbers. It's a 32 ounce. It's the big, it's the big gulp of water. Go ahead, Hans uh, Stupenheimer. Yes, uh, Jens Stufenhausen. Um, yeah. Listening in for Bjorn Ogren. Yes. Oh, Bjorn. So he wants to know if you're going to prison, which you won't, of course. That'd be exactly. Dirty. Thank you. Be I nasty. love when you editorialize. Yes. Uh, will you negotiate peace between Zelensky Thanks and for the Putin super from chat. the prison cells? Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do, because a lot of people want me in prison, but I don't necessarily, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go, but I'm not going to go. But if I did go, first thing I would do, I would bring the Thanks Aryan the Brotherhood together with the Mexicans and the Chicanos and all the gangs. I would do that there. And then I would get on the phone with Zelensky. Zelensky and my good buddy, Viputs. Viputs, that's Vladimir Putin, for those of you who know. We always talk every day. I'm like, what are you wearing today? And he's like, what are you wearing today? And I always like, I'm going to wear the blue suit. He's like, I'm going to wear the gray suit. So we, that's what we do in the morning. We have a great relationship. And I think we could get... Putin out of there or keep him in, whatever he wants to do. But I would settle this so fast. You know what I would say? Because I don't usually share this, but I'm going to share it. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to share this. I'm just going to say, guys, you got to figure this out. And then I think they would settle. I think they would say so much carnage, so much 
stuff and with the bombs and the bullets. It's sad. It's really, really sad. There's no need for that. Down in front here, right here. My uh, favorite reporter. Here. You got a donation from Darmendra Rai, which you've seen. Oh, Darmendra, yes, we had Darmendra before. Uh, he asked your first act after becoming president again. My first act after becoming president, well, there's so many things. At day one, we're going to put the wall up. Day two, we're going to arrest all the Democrats. Day three, we're going to have all the Democrats in court, and then they're going to be executed. So it's going to go pretty fast. It's going to go pretty fast. We're going to have a lot of openings. We're going to have a lot of openings for jobs and things like that. Derminda, but Derminda's in India, right? In, in India? Did we establish that? I don't remember, but I've got friends in India right now, a great group of guys over there doing comedy, so they're, they're wonderful. I love the Indian people. As you know, I went to India. I was in with Modi, who was the PM, who was the PM in India. 100,000 people in a stadium for me. It's a cricket stadium. They love crickets over there. For, I guess they're good luck. I don't know. But they had a cricket stadium, and it was a 100,000 people. And I love India. Of course, it smelled like curry and B.O., but it was really a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. There we go. Chet again. Uh, yes, this is actually Kapar. Oh, I'm you're sitting next India, to him. Hello, yes, Kapar. Oh, the Indian what, Times. The Indian yes, Times. I love the Indian did, Times. So I'm here from, from Mumbai. Want to know if you uh, could please tell your nuclear secrets to protect against Russia because they're close to us. We won't tell anyone, but could you tell me so close friends could create protection for our borders? Okay, here's the thing. A lot of people, this was all over the news this morning. I told a billionaire friend of mine some nuclear secrets, and then he shared them with two friends, and they shared them with two friends, and they shared them with two friends. But the thing is, he's not in the military. So you can share top secret secrets with civilian people. What are they going to do with it? What are they going to do? Like knock on the door of the China, of the China embassy? I don't think so. I don't think so. So don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. That good guy's a good friend of mine. He's Australian. He's fun. He's fun. He has a big mouth for sure. But any of those secrets, any of those secrets, don't worry. Uh, a lot of that stuff's public knowledge. It's public knowledge. Everyone knows what the capacity of the nuclear weapons are on these stuff. I, in fact, I've got the paperwork right here. I could go over all of it right now, but will I do that? No, because it's being broadcasted. I would only do that like at a dinner or something like that. And by the way, we've got the t-shirts. We got more of these in. Uh, we have these in stock now, the Never Surrender t-shirts. Never surrender until after you surrender four times. Surrender four times first, and then surrender. You can go in, go to the shop. These are in stock right now. And last time I showed this off, last time I showed this off, somebody said, sir, 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 was that made in America? Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It actually is made in America because it says Nicaragua. <laughs> Nicaragua. And where's Nicaragua? South America. South America. So technically, this was made in America. Remember, never surrender. Never surrender until the fourth time when you surrender. You can get these now, and uh, they're very good. They feel great. I would rub it on my face, but then it would get orange all over it. So I don't Thanks want to do that. But you can chat. definitely do that. And you'll enjoy that. Oh, hold on. It's time. It's time. This was on my desk at the White House. Now it's here in Mar-a-Lago. That's my little Coke thing. As soon as I... It pops right up here on the desk, right there, and it just pops right up. It's incredible. That's not an ad. This is not an ad for Diet Coke, but if they want to send me a year's worth of free, and by the way, look how tiny this looks in my gigantic hand. Isn't that amazing? It's absolutely amazing. All right, do we have a question? We got lots of questions now. There we go. Uh, hey, it's uh, Chip Nugget. Chip Nugget, my buddy. Thanks for the super I love chat. That. Get scrolled away. It uh, another one will come back. We got a lot of those chip. Um, oh yeah, uh, Marnie Mo. Thanks oh for Marnie the super Mo, chat. we love Marnie Mo. Always great questions. Mr. President, mm. sir, uh, will you be doing any more reality shows in the future? If so, what are you considering? Well, thank you very much for that tremendous question. Uh, as you know, I did The Apprentice. Apprentice, the number one rated show in the history of television. And by the way, NBC, if you're watching, you still owe me money. 
You still owe me money. One of my producers was Daryl Silver. Daryl Silver. Daryl, I hope you're watching too. Um, we're discussing a brand new show called The Apprehended. The Apprehended. You know, in, in Georgia, we've got like, I've got 18 co-conspirators in this ridiculous case. But as they catch and arrest each one, that's called The Apprehended. I think it'll be a fantastic show. And then we'll see, the next show will be Incarceration. We'll see who goes to jail. Not me. But because I'm going to cut a deal and fry all these people. But we will absolutely have many, many new, tremendous, fantastic shows coming up very soon. I'm being told by my, my assistant to check my hair. How's my hair? How do I look? Oh, I have a lot of flyaway. I, I have a lot of flyaway this week. This week. All right. We've got to switch conditioners. We've got to switch conditioners. In the back, that yeah. gentleman right yeah, there. Bill, very handsome guy. Very handsome Bill, guy. Bill Johnson reporting from Mississippi News oh. South. This, I like this guy. I yeah. like this guy already. They love uh, me big, down there. They love me in the South. They big, big the question from Debrendra Rye. Darmadre, Darmadre Ray, he wants to know if you miss Jim Rohn as your lawyer. A Jim Rohn? Yes, you miss Jim Rohn? Jim Rohn, the, the, the sports guy? Yeah. Oh, the sports guy. I love that. Around the tip. Around the tip. That was a great show. I love sports. No one knows sports. You know, I brought football, the USFL, which which the NFL destroyed because they couldn't stand me. They got rid of that. But Jim Rohn's a great guy, fantastic guy. And speaking of Jim's, Jim Jordan, I just endorsed him last night at 2 o'clock in the morning to become the Speaker of the House. You know, Kevin McCarthy, Kevin, 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 <laughs> Kevin, he, he folded like a card table, and he's no longer the Speaker of the of the house and it's sad it's really really sad what's happening on capitol hill you know these the, the republicans uh, not my republicans but these republicans and we got matt gates the great matt gates who looks like uh, uh the guy from beavis and butthead he really does with the arched eyebrows and it but he's, he's he's really effective he's very effective do we have a question over there misty yes mr president mm -hmm. um Well, you know what? I appreciate them asking me to be the Speaker of the House, which I think is tremendous, which would be great. I'd probably be the greatest speaker in the history of speakers. I'd probably have a really big gavel for my very big hands. I would just smash the hell out of that thing. But honestly, I'm very, very busy. I'm very, very busy. And I, I'm a big picture guy. I'm a big picture guy. Like, I don't want to do parliamentary procedure because that's from parliament. And I'm not a smoker, so I don't really want to do that. So I don't want to be like, oh, the gentleman from so-and-so, who I can't stand, who I can't, or the, the, the gentle lady from Virginia, who I can't stand. And then, like, the really hot lady from uh, Colorado, Lauren Bobert. Lauren Boebert, she's uh, she would be fun. I'd like to go see Beetlejuice with her if I can. Is that still is that still running in Denver? Because that would be a fun that'd be a fun date. That would be a fun date. Believe me, believe me. I'm not crazy about the vaping, but that's okay. Go ahead. Do we have a question? Mr. President, also I wanted to follow up too. Um, the judge uh, put slapped you really with a gag order. Well, well, listen. Um, they're taking away my free speech. I mean, if I can't humiliate somebody or dox them. What is this country coming to? You know what I mean? It was obvious to me from a photo that uh, uh, Crying Chuck was with that woman. And if you can't put that out on your thing, the thing was, it was like, I was I was at the desk and, then, and I, was, I was with my phone. It was like, it was like sir, sir, Mr. Trump. I, it was, I felt like I was back in high school. Judge Angeron, I can say anything I want, and I can do anything I want, and you can't stop me. And I'm not going to go by his gag order. And that's why I left after I had that tremendous, tremendous lunch of McDonald's. McDonald's, they're so consistent. They're so consistent. But they were supposed to get me a Frosty at uh, Wendy's, but they never delivered the Frosty. And I, I think that was Uber Eats or Lyft Food or something like that. All right, we got a question? Over here, we got a question? Yes, we've got a question over here again. This is Bill coming from Mississippi South. Uh, just wanted to know and make sure that you understand that there's potential that you could send some of these unfair judges to the moon. 
so they could live there. Do you think oh, that's something it's, it's that's possible, idea. Mr. Mr. President? Send I think we moon. should round it. This isn't a bad idea. You know, we have Space Force, and we should take all of these terrible, terrible, uh, communistic, masochistic, Marxist, socialist, uh, left-leaning judges, and send them to the moon. Send the, You know what? That could be a new show. That could be a new show, Judges on Mars, something like that. Or the moon, or the moon. I prefer Mars because it's kind of red-orange, but the moon's fine. The moon's fine. Oh, we have another one in the back. Uh, Ch Chet Stedman here, Mr. President. Chet, KTM, how are you, buddy? News, Las Vegas, doing very well, so thank you for Love calling. Love Las on. Vegas. Love Las Vegas. They've got F1. They've got F1 coming up very soon. I hear they've blocked all the streets. Yes. Smart move. Curious if you have any new nicknames um, with all the, the stuff that's coming out in the news. I'm just curious if you have any new favorite nicknames that you're creating or um, anyone that uh, have given you some. Oh, you well, really I, I think Ron DeSanctimonious is one of my best new ones. I also call him uh, Ron the Backstabber. Ron the Backstabber. Big Teeth Vivek. Big Teeth Vivek. Uh, what, what I would say about Nikki, I can't say because we're just kind of like PG. It's kind of like PG. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Somebody, I didn't realize there was somebody down there. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. I, I didn't know that. All right, we have a question over here? Uh, yeah. Uh, Chip Nugget. Chip, how are you, buddy? Where did you get here? Burlington Comfy Flannel. I love that. And I'm doing very well in Vermont. Am I not, Chip? Am uh, I doing very well? Yeah, they accept you up there. See that? You are they know me. Very, he's so warm. I like. He's like a pastor. He's like a pastor. Not that I've ever seen a pastor. But yes, buddy. My golf Jay Tweetler. Oh. Wants to know what can I get at the Trump Tower closing down sale. Well, I'm so glad that he's uh, Mr. Uh, Agoff has asked about that. He's a great guy, by the way. Agoff Tweetler is tremendous. He and I are very much, if you look at his photo, he looks a lot like me, oddly. Uh, what we're doing is everything must go. Everything must go by December 31st. We're talking everything. All the hidden documents that I have in Trump Tower, they have to go. All the desk, all the pens, all the chairs, whatever you, this is, listen, this is the biggest sale ever. I feel like Crazy Eddie, if anybody's from back in New York. Everything must go go no offer denied unless it's a crappy offer of course but we are going to get everything out of there i don't even want to be in new york anymore i don't want to do you know they're murdering people 24 hours a day there and the uh the the attorney general they don't prosecute but they're prosecuting me for being successful it's absolutely horrible buildings are on fire uh people are jumping out of buildings car crashes it's carnage it's almost like escape from new york uh, that's why I want to get out of there. And it'll be a tremendous move. People are already stealing the marble from the lobby at Trump Tower. It's very sad. But all that's got to go. The escalators, they have to go. Whatever is in the building is going to go. And it's going to be fantastic. Believe me. Question. Yes, this is uh, Juan from Spain. Oh, this in. isn't from Telemundo. Is it Telemundo? N no, this you is from Spain, with Casablanca. Fox. Yes. Oh, from Spain. Okay, yes. Spain. We're, That's good. We're calling it from Spain right now. Hey, what do they speak in Spain? Spanish. They, they speak Spanish. Okay. Not, not, not Portuguese. Not Portuguese, right? No, senor. Not Portuguese? No, that's not right. Okay, yes. go ahead. So, question for you. What is the plan in the future if you win the presidential race? What are we going to do with the international politics, especially Europe? Well, let me tell you something. First things first. When I become the president, I am not leaving. It's going to be president for life. President for life. Everybody here say it with me. President for life. For life. President for life. President Everybody for loves life. it. This is the only way things can get done. Get done. President for life. Once I'm in, I'm not leaving. President for life. Everyone loves this, by the way. Even the Democrats like the idea of me becoming president for life. Even crying Chuck Schumer, who's sleeping with that woman, called me the other day and said, I hope you get life. Isn't that nice? He's on. Wait a minute. He's on board Thanks with this, too. Chat. He's on board with this, too. And once we do that, we're going to get rid of NATO. We're going to let Putin do what Putin does best. And what's he do? He rolls across these type of countries that, look, look, Spain. You're, you're from Spain. Spain's a mess. Spain's a mess. I mean, like Denmark, those places, they know what they're doing. But a lot of the other countries, Italy, 
Italy, wow, they're broke. They're so broke, they're selling houses in Italy for a dollar, for a dollar. The only business they have over there is tourism. And I think you can, that's not sustainable. So Putin can come in, he can take over. Chip, over here. Uh, hey, Mr. President, mm. the province Chip Nugget. Chip, yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I know, I know. I'm not Sleepy Joe, I remember, I remember. You got a mind like a steel trap, sir. I love this guy, I love this guy. This is why I'm winning in, Ver in Vermont. Go ahead. Yeah, we accept you up there, we understand. I've, that. I've heard that, we, I've heard we that. We understand that you exist. Thank you, and I'm here, I'm here, and I'm here for Burlington. I don't like those leftist ice cream guys, by the way. Didn't they sell? Ben and Jerry. I thought they ben sold. and Jerry, did they sell? Okay, then I can start eating again. Yeah, okay. The righties bought them out. That's what's happening, folks. The right-leaning people are buying out the left-leaning people. And the left-leaning people, I don't know where they're going. I guess they're all going to Cali California under Gavin Grusom. And uh, he's, he's going to be running that, that part of the country. But go ahead with Chip. Go ahead with your question. Chip, Chip how are you? Baron Corvo wants to know, sir, do you miss the uh, lingerie football league? Oh, I think that was incredible. What was that, in the 90s? I loved the lingerie football league. And no one loves women the way I love women. I love women so much, I married three of them. Three of them. And women love me. You know, the day after I was inaugurated, they had the largest parade in the world, in countries, in cities all over the world. They all wore a special hat, little cat hats. Little cat hats. I wish I would have grabbed one of those little hats. It would have been nice to have a collector's item because women love me. I mean, look at the women who love me. All the women on Fox News love me, and I'd love to see all of them running around in lingerie. Lingerie. And if you want to see Melania in chat. lingerie, pick up the British GQ where she did a nude spread. Misty, go ahead. Misty knows about the nude spread. Yes, Mr. President, Misty got it up with Showbuzz. Showbuzz. Show they used to love me in show business. Now they can't stand me. It's so sad. You're going to potentially lose all of your businesses in New York. Right. And your sons. Are you concerned that your sons and, and perhaps maybe Ivanka? No, no, no. Ivanka's out of the case. She's out of, she was very smart. She got out of the case a couple of years ago. It is the possibility I could lose Don or Eric. Eric's not a big loss. So I'm not really worried about him. But Don, I like Don a lot when he's not, you know, doing his thing. So, but he's always hunting. He's always hunting. The guy's obsessed with guns. He's obsessed with guns. And by the way, I tried to buy a gun with my photo on it. They told me that was illegal because I'm under indictment. These stupid rules. But I, uh, I don't like New York anymore. I'm ready to move out of New York. Did I mention they're killing people nonstop 24 hours a day there? There's no police. There's no police in New York because the left fist, whatever, Eric Adams, Eric Adams, the mayor, he has no police. Police force. He has no place. It's just chaos. It's Escape from New York 2 with Kurt Russell. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Mr. President, this is Jan von Stufenhausen. One more You're time. You're back again. Good yes. to see you, Jan. From the Rheinland und Stausen. Mr. Yes. I did you know my grandfather was from Germany? Did you know that? It's fantastic. He's, he's from Germany. And I don't, a lot of people don't know this, but my, my father's middle name is Christ. I'm not kidding. You can look that up on the Google or the Wikipedia. His middle name is Christ. So I'm the son of Christ, which I think is tremendous. Go ahead. Perfect. I agree. So this is a question from Bjorn Ogren or uh, once more. He wants to know if was he, he in Abba? Was Bjorn in Abba? Is that I, the one I I'm think thinking so. Of? Well, it's funny you mentioned this, my friend. Yeah. If, if you win the presidency, which you, you will, which you I will, I love the German people. Will you be considering having Abba performing when you are sworn in? I would love to have Abba perform. Are they still together? You know what would be great? I could bring them back together. I'm going to bring Zelensky and Putin together, and I'm bringing Abba back together. I think one of them passed away, but they have AI technology that can recreate people. They did it with Harrison Ford in the new, uh, the new uh, Indiana Jones movie, which was because they have a lot of women in that one. It wasn't as good, uh, I have to tell you. But we can do that. We're going to bring Abba together, and we're going to build a wall around. Where are they from? Um, Stufenhausen. Stufenhausen. They're from Stufenhausen. We're going to build a wall around Stufenhausen. By the way, we need to build a wall around Manhattan, which again is, uh, which again is Escape from New York. Go ahead. Mr. President, um, Britney Spears. Yes, I know her. Yes. She works for uh, Benny Hanna now. I heard. <laughs> I was wondering if you were concerned about her videos 
where she is actually dancing and playing with the knives. Uh, you know what? I like Britney. <laughs> I thought she's very talented. Oops, I did it again was absolutely a tremendous video. Great song. Toxic. Toxic. Great, great, great. She was on a plane. She was like a female spy. I thought that was great, too. Circus was pretty good. Uh, these are all great pop, pop songs. But she's like, she's just a, But you know what they say? You know the crazy hot matrix? Do you know about this, the crazy hot matrix? The more crazy you are, the hotter the sex. And I think right now, she's off the charts. But I could not allow knives in the bedroom. That would be my only, that would be my, you know, cutoff right there. But I think she'd yeah. be incredible. Thank you, Chip. Chip's awake, folks. You still got it. See that? He knows. I go to Bur I go to Vermont, and the women fall all over. They're not as attractive as uh, Britney Spears, though. I have to say. But go ahead. We have another question. Chip. Yeah, it's a Chip Duggan. Right. In the Burlington uh, comfy flannel. Yes. And thank you for that gift of the of the blanket. That was very nice. They wrap up good, don't they? They do, they do. And they, I even have one on Air Force One, Chip. That's great. I find when I'm being indicted, I like to just sort of wrap up and just go away. Go away, yeah. Well, that was years ago when that happened to you. So, uh, Dwa wants to know, sorry, DW wants to know, are you afraid of Eric testifying? Uh, not really, because he can, you know, he can't find himself in the dark, so I don't, I'm not really worried about Eric that much. He was just on Fox News the other night saying how much he loves me and that he loves me and he'd like to see me and he'd love to talk to me. But, you know, this is what you have to do with certain sons. you got to put them at the side. Unfortunately, with Ivanka, I'm in the friend zone. I'm really working on her. But him, I'd like to, you know, get him further out of sight if that's possible. Back here to Misty. Yes, <coughs> Excuse me. Who, um, oh, breaking news? Yes, oh, boy. Yes, I did. He was Australian, and he's very rich. And I don't think the rules apply to super rich people. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, if you were like a, like a regular like person who made maybe, what, $75,000 a year, if I said it to that, that would be dangerous. But the people who are billionaires, they're smart people, and they're only going to tell other rich people. People, you know, like a billionaire is not going to say that to another poor per to a poor person. So I think when I share nuclear secrets, which I have, I, we've discussed this before, uh, that that when you share them with rich people, it's different than sharing them with poor people because rich people know what to do with the information, and poor people are like, I don't know what to do. I know where all the nuclear subs are. So I'm not worried about this at all and by the way it's not like i'm breaking the law i'm just telling people information that they might want to know about our nuclear subs placed around the world and what the capacity of the warheads are on those pacific ships this is stuff that's in movies it was probably in that movie red alert with um, with uh, sean connery and alec baldwin or red hunt for red hunt for red november uh, it was a great movie tremendous movie that was probably the sequel go ahead Follow-up question. There has been so much about Trailer, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh, yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Do you think the NFL is going overboard with the obsession over Taylor Swift and the football player? Well, I don't know if they're going over. I don't know if the NFL is going overboard, but here's the thing. I think the press... That the press is losing their minds. You know, I dated many, many beautiful women. I went out with Madonna. Madonna. I went out with her. I went out with a lot of famous people. I got a lot of press. I got a lot of press. But this whole thing with Taylor Swift, only because, like, she's so popular. And by the way, Taylor Swift is against me. At her last concert, they registered 155,000 people. They registered to vote 155. And most of those girls are 13. So that's illegal. That's illegal. No one's talking about the underage voting or the dead people voting. So I think uh, we have to investigate Taylor Swift. And what's his name again? Travis. Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, and I'm sure they're very happy. Oh boy, go ahead. Uh, hey, Mr. President, Mr. President. Yes. Chip Nugget. Um, True. I don't know if you know, but I'm from the Burlington uh, Pumpkin Clan. <laughs> Tyrell Adams uh, wants to know: Would you go back to the WWE? 
Oh, the WW. I would absolutely go back to the W. Whoever asked that question, that's a great question. Um, I did very, very well on the WWE. They made memes out of it. I, I shaved Vince McMahon's head because he lost the bet. He lost a bet. And you know, that's not, all that's real, by the way. All that, they say they, they have to call it the WWE because they got sued. It's all wrestling's not real. Let me tell you something. When someone drops you from 10 feet, that's real. That's real. And I did an incredible job. I love the WWE. Vince McMahon's wife was in my cabinet. She was in my cabinet. A lot of people don't know that, but she was in my cabinet. Um, Secretary McMahon did an incredible job. She gave me $5 million. I said, take any seat you want. And she did. And she did. And she was great. And Vince is great. And he's like, he's like this. And I'm not going to accuse him of juicing or whatever they call that. But all the guys are like this. So, uh, which I think is tremendous. I'm on Ozempic and I feel fantastic. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, this is Bill Johansson again from Bill, Mississippi News Good to South. see you. Appreciate you, sir. Um, question, going back to the Speaker of the House, mm -hmm. uh, you allegedly said you'll do whatever is necessary right. to help select a new House Speaker. Can you elaborate on whatever is necessary? What What do you mean here? Well, I, I think whatever necessary means the fact that I will do what we have to do to get a good Speaker. You know, Kevin came down, he kissed the ring. He, you know, I liked Kevin. I, I, you know, obviously the, the eight people who ousted him did not like him. But if they want me to be speaker, I'll be speaker. I don't want to be speaker because I've got other things to do, obviously. But we can help out. Jim Jordan wants the job. He's about this tall, kind of smells, won't wear a sports coat. I mean, this guy, it's unbelievable. He's, he's a wrestler and he wants to be a speaker of the house. But if he wants to be Speaker of the House, that would be fine. I think it's going to be another long, drawn-out battle. But I think the one thing they can agree on is me, is me. But I don't know if I want to do it because there's a lot of reading involved, and I don't like doing that. So go ahead. Next question. Misty? Misty better not show bus, show bus today. Thank you, Misty. I'm glad you're having a good time at my expense. You're making me so nervous. That's okay. I do that to a lot of women. Let's go upstairs after when we have lunch. With show bus. That's right. Look, it's Friday. We can go get a taco bowl. A taco bowl after this. I was just curious who you think might win Dancing with the Stars. Uh, who would give me some of the people this year? Uh, Jamie Lynn Spears, Brittany's sister. Oh, get out of here. She's cute, right? She's very cute. I think Jamie, is she a good dancer? Is she a good dancer? She's okay. Okay. Who's like the surprise? Isn't there a rapper? A rapper? Uh, well, Tyson Beckford is a Tyson gorgeous Beckford. Model. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the good-looking one. Yeah. yeah, he's he's yeah, he's one of the good ones. Yeah, he's very good. He's very good. What was he? Was he in a movie? Was he in a movie? Tyson Beckford. Hmm. I should know this. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Uh, you know, you say Tyson to me, I think of chicken. I think of chicken. My mind goes right to chicken. It's incredible. Will but you start watching it now? Uh, you know, when I can, when I can. Right now, I'm hooked on The Golden Bachelor. I'm like, that could have been me. That could have been me. I've never seen a TV show with uh, so many women with little fans in their purses. You know, oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. They all seem to be going through menopause at the exact same time. You know, I heard the rose ceremony. Everybody wants a chair. Everybody wants to, no one wants to stand during the rose ceremony. I'm like, I want a chair. So, you know, they're giving him a chair. But I, I love this guy. He's the, they're all, you know what they're talking about? I saw a clip. They're talking about their hearing aids. I don't have hearing aids. I don't have hearing I can, I have, Chip, don't I have perfect hearing? What? Uh, don't I have perfect hearing? What? what? Uh, exactly. Exactly. See, he's, he's, he's two years older than me. He can't hear a thing. Do you have a question, Chip? Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. President. Go ahead. Chip. Oh, I love that. Jason Ladd wants to know, um, will you bail out Broke Mike Pillow? Well, you know, I, I got to tell you with Mike, he's a great guy. He's a fantastic guy. But I never asked for Mike's help. And he took the Lincoln bus, which he's got to give back. Uh, but Mike's in a lot of trouble. He lost his line of credit. Uh, he's not selling his pillows. You know, I don't know if you've watched any of my depositions. They ask me nasty, nasty questions. But Mike gets very, very upset. Uh, I don't think I could bail Mike out right now. But if I were president, I could bail him out immediately. Mike, if you're listening, if you need anything, anything at all, don't bother me. I'm dealing with my own crap right now, okay? All right, I'm sure somebody will bail you out, you know, uh, linens and things. What? 
They're bankrupt? Okay. I'm sure Bed Bath Beer... What? They're bankrupt too? Okay. Uh, I'm sure somebody has money to bail you out, Mike. And we can, we can make that happen for you. Absolutely. I'll connect you with somebody very rich. Very rich. Go ahead. Mr. President, Chet Stedman, KTMD2 News here in Las Vegas again. What a pro. What a pro. Question for you, sir. Um, there's so many allegations against you. So many. All, so this, many. All lies. This drama. Can you please just let us know straight from the horse's mouth, is any of this true? What is the play here? And are you going to be okay? I'm going to be absolutely fine. I've been up against tougher odds than this. Uh, nobody likes me. Everyone makes stories up against me. Uh, the documents were there. Sure, but those are my documents. I can do anything I want with those documents. So let's set aside that case. The RICO, the RICO case in Atlanta, Georgia with Fannie Willis. Totally made up. I never even met this guy, Rico, or most of my co-defendants, other than Rudy and Alina Habadabadu, uh, and the other lady too. But uh, Ellis, Jenna Ellis, her I like, but she, you know, but I, I, I didn't do anything. They're saying I, I came up with the whole fake electors thing. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't sound like me. That's not my brain. So that case is out of the way. January 6th, I said, walk down there and uh, be peaceful while you're stopping the uh, the vote count. I never said, like, go crazy. So that one's done. What's the other case I'm dealing with right now? Is it a civil case? There's one other case. Whatever it is, it's all made up. And I'll be fine. I'm not going to go to prison. But if I did, I would be the greatest prisoner in the history of prisons. I'd probably be the warden by the end of the week. By the end of the week. And I want everybody who's watching right now on the YT, on the YT, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, but also join. Join. We've got a lot of great perks. A lot of great perks and benefits. We've got three different levels. Make sure you join. We've got some wonderful, wonderful people who are already members. Do we have my, my members list? We have Falco. Can you name some of the uh, some of my uh, my members? We have Falco. Uh, not the See, not, not the, the rocket, rocket German. German rock. Rock. We, we have, have our German, German guy. guy. Remember Falco, Falco German, German guy. guy. We have we have him. Fal me on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have? Who do we have? Who are some uh, of the We have Falco, right. Lonnie Land. Lonnie Land! Lonnie Land. D. Swing Morel. D. Swing Morel. Uh, we got a couple more that I don't have on the list right now. We have, we, we we have some brand there. new members. I want to thank all the members for joining. I also want to thank everybody who subscribed. We're now at, now at 103,000. 103,000 subscribers on the YT, on uh, on the uh, on Tickety Talk, we've got 5.9 million, 5.9 million, and we got the cowboy. If we get 10 cowboy hats by the end of this, I'm gonna do YMCA. It's the best way to end all, all of my press conferences. We're at five right now. Let me know the next one comes in. We have a goal of 110,000 subscribers. So if you want to join us on YouTube, we've got the long form comedy. We've got the short form comedy. We got me on skateboards. We've got me doing these lives. Whatever you want, we got it. We got it. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Over here, we have my friend Chip. Uh, Mr. President, Chip Nugget. Chip. I had heard that before. People on Tickety Talk want to know if you have your own channel. They want to follow. They you. like you. They like you, Chip. Um, we, yeah, I don't have Wi-Fi where I live. I, I, I figured that for some reason. Um, but I do uh, touch a lot of trees. He, uh, he's, he's very naturalistic. He's very organic. What do you call that? Organic? Organic? Um, earthy earthy believe me folks he's earthy he even looks earthy he's wearing all brown it's very it's very amazing um, uh, hey mr president so judy vance judy vance wants to know why did you drop the suit against michael cohen oh well um that's a very good question um my schedule's so busy they kept asking me for a deposition. He got his deposition, and then I'm very busy. I'm in New York right now. Even though I'm right here in Mar-a-Lago doing this, I'm actually in New York. Uh, so I wasn't able to do my uh, uh, my deposition for Michael Cohen. I, honestly, I, I may even drop the case. I may even, I, I technically in my mind, 
I've won the case against Michael Cohen because he's a terrible, terrible person. And he wrote a book called Disloyal, and that's why I don't like Michael Cohen. And he's been, he's, uh, he, him and DeSantis, him and DeSantis are uh, the backstabbers. Michael De Cohen, the backstabber. Uh, I'm working on that one. I'm workshopping that. Go ahead. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got good news. How many is this? Ten hats. I got the hat on. I'm getting all mavericky. There we go. How are we on time? Are we good on time? Oh, perfect. All right. At the end of this, in eight minutes, nine minutes, I'm going to do YMCA and the entire team, all the reporters are going to do it with me. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be like a mini Trump rally, but nothing about me is mini, if you know what I'm talking about. Look at these hands. Look at these hands, huge, huge hands, and absolutely no complaints about my Trump Tower. I just want everyone to know that, especially Misty. I want you to know that in advance, Misty. All right. Do we have a question from uh, Chet? Uh, yes, Chet Stedman here, uh, KTNV2 News, What a Las pro, Vegas. folks. What a pro. Uh, what a pro. Thank you, sir. Uh, question here from Tyrell Adams. Tyrell um, Adams. Tyrell if you, Adams. If they auction off your Mar-a-Lago, where, you, where do you plan to live? Well, I don't think we're going to lose Mar-a-Lago because it's worth uh, now $5 billion. It's now worth today $5 billion. They couldn't auction it off. No one would be able to buy it. Uh, I think that I, listen, I have many, many, many wealthy friends. I could live anywhere I want. Obviously, I don't want to live in New York. Horrible, horrible place. We are going to build a wall around New York and make New Jersey pay for it because New Jersey is not sending their best. Do you hear that, New Jersey? And who's from New Jersey? Chris Christie. Chris Christie, the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg, Chris Christie. He's a human zeppelin. He's a human zeppelin. I mean, that guy's got more chins than a Chinese phone book. It's true. And uh, he thinks he's going to beat me. Are you kidding me? His A1C is WTF. This guy's spleen is made out of salami. It's He's not going to make it. He probably won't even make it. Him and Biden, oh, come on, man. Stop picking on me. Oh, I love the sarsaparilla and the... Wells Fargo and oh man, stop it, Jack. Listen, Biden, I'm coming for you, buddy. I don't care if I've got 100 criminal charges against me. I can run circles around you, and I know what you're doing. Chip, go ahead. The Chip Nugget Burlington uh, Conference Plano. Mm. It's great to have you down here in Mar-a-Lago. I'm so glad. And, it, and by the way, Chip would not fly here. Uh, he took the train. He took the Amtrak. Uh, what's that called? The car train? The car train? The auto train. The auto train. But he doesn't have a car. Yeah, he just sat in the back compartment just with the, all the other cars. Probably slept in somebody else's car. Uh, Quite a name, quite a name. Sir, 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 I love it already. I love it already. Three sirs. Um, did it hurt to be left out of the Forbes top 400? Oh, that really hurt. That really hurt. And all of this is because of the fake media, these flim-flam scams. They're making me look bad on purpose. They probably loved knocking me off the Forbes list. They gave me the call. They're like, sir, 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 President Trump, sir. I'm like, who is this? Said, oh, sir, it's, it's Forbes, sir. And I said, yes. And they said, sir, um, uh, something about my subscription. But then they told me that they're knocking me off the list because all this stuff, they, it, now all of my wealth is in question. And I mean, look at me. Look at me. I'm a billionaire. I'm the I'm the de defi definition of being a billionaire. And it's so sad when someone like me can be knocked off the billionaires list. And that's why I'm talking to all of you and to you. Send me as much money as you possibly can. I've got to get back on the list. I've got to get uh, my defense shored up. And i got to get more money. And Melania, you know how much her hair is every month? It's very expensive. And I don't even see her. And I don't even see her. She somehow got the uh, the echo bracelet off. And I don't even see Melania anymore, which is sad. But I'd like to see Lauren Boebert if that's possible, because that's like a, a bird in the hand on that one. Go ahead. Uh, sir, this is Chet Stedman again, KTNV2 News here in Las Vegas. Um, you seem like you're very fit. Um, oh, can you very tell us fit. about your workout routine and where you work out? Well, I work out by walking. I work, work out by walking. Uh, I do that all the time. I play two rounds of golf every single day, and I walk. 
and I walk. I'm 6'3", I'm about 215 pounds, and uh, I know that Chet here, is a, it comes down to other, he wants me to do the cold plunge. The cold plunge. I don't want to do the cold plunge, because first, I don't like to be naked. I usually shower in this. But then you gotta like get in the cold plunge, and there's shrinkage. There's shrinkage. This water isn't cold, it's freezing. It's freezing, and I don't see the benefit of it. I'm 77 years old. Look at me, I have so much energy. So much energy, I can run circles around Biden, who's like, who's walking in circles himself. So no cold plunge for me, but I would like a Frosty from Wendy's. From Wendy's, they're delicious. I usually like the vanilla, but if the only thing available is the chocolate, because every time we go to the one around here, of course, the vanilla's broken, but that's okay. That's okay. Do we have another question, Misty? We'll come over here. Yes. Show buzz today. Show buzz. I used to watch that. Da 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 da. Show buzz today. Da 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 da. Great show. Great show. Mary Hart. What a what a two yams on her. She was something out. John Tesh. John Tesh. Now he does like that uh, new age music. He's a new age guy. John Mary, Tesh. Mary Hart used to give me seizures. Oh, she did because she was flashing with the hair. No, that voice. Oh, the voice. Yes, they, Mary Hart. Yes. They they insured her voice and her legs. She was great. I think I have breaking good news for you. Ooh. Judge Cannon strikes again and gives Trump a huge indefinite delay in the Mar-a-Lago documents case. Wow, an indefinite delay. This is incredible. This is why I love this country. Our legal system is absolutely fantastic. This is good news, not for me. It's good news for all of you because, folks, they're not coming for me. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. You're the one who stole all the documents. You're the one with 91 criminal charges. Not me, not me. It's all you. And I think this is wonderful, wonderful news. This is a great way to wrap up. Where are we on time? Uh, we've got two minutes, but with this is probably, I feel fantastic. Indefinite. And when a judge says indefinite, that means there's no case. There's no case. None of these 11,000 documents in my bathroom mean anything at all because she just said indefinite. I love Aileen, Eileen Cannon. We just had dinner last night. She told me she was going to try to do this, but now she made it happen. And this is why I love our legal system. Can't stand Judge Engeron, but love Judge Cannon or Gannon, whatever her name is. She's going to be getting a very nice Christmas bonus. Believe me. Thanks, Judge. All right, we have another question. Any other defendant, Mr. President, with, with such grave national security implications would already have been detained and tried? I know. Isn't this great? It's really, it's really fantastic. We have such a wonderful system here. But it's a two-tiered system that benefits me. And when it benefits me, I like it. And when it doesn't benefit me, I do not like it. And we got to get rid of it. We have another question. Chat. Uh, yes, Chet Stebbin here, KTNV2 News, um, reporting live here in Las Vegas. I'm just curious about, um, there's a question here on your favorite TV show, mm. and uh, the question actually is, do you know the difference between uh, Saudi Arabia and Abu Dhabi? And the thing is that Saudi Arabia, they do not like the Flintstones, but people in Abu Dhabi do. What's your favorite uh, uh, television show? Well, I love Abu Dhabi, and I love, and I love the fact that Abu Dhabi loves the Flintstones, which I think is great. It's such an American show. A lot of people don't know this, but the Flintstones were based on the Honeymooners on The Honeymooners, which was the greatest show ever because I grew up in New York at that time, the great Jackie Gleason. And then when they went to cartoon form, they had Dash Riprock and some other great characters. And they did the thing with the car like this, which was basically, I guess, the first electric car, which I don't like because it's a battery and that's very dangerous. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, KTNV2 News, Chet Stedman here reporting Chet? live one more time. Mm -hmm. um, I just have a, a, a little leak that uh, apparently you're working out at a place called F45. Is this true or is it just walking? Well, it's well. there's one here near Mar-a-Lago and I like to go there. It's called a hit. It's called a hit work out. We shut the whole thing down. It's just all my secret service. We do an intense 45 minute workout at F45. Sometimes, you know, Mark Wahlberg begs me. He begs me, sir, 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 President Trump, sir, can I work out with you? And I said, uh, Mark, I'm not working out at 4 a.m. But he comes, he comes at the 6 a.m. because I'm up very, very early. I work out. I'm up at, I'm up at uh, 5.15. 
have something. I work out from six to uh, seven, then I'm back in bed by 7.30. It's really a fantastic workout. It's got a hit, hit workout, folks. F45, you're gonna love it. It's really tremendous. All right, is that our time? Is that our time? All right, folks, let's do the YMCA. Are you ready? All right, we'll just do the chorus. Here we go. YMCA. YMCA. You've got everything for your man to enjoy. You can hang out with all the boys. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. YMCA. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Will you join us up here? Can you guys take your uh, take your mics off? We're going to just let everybody know, uh, all the wonderful people. Great people, just watch the camera, don't knock it down. We've got about 75, 80 people, press people in here, but these are our guests. These are our guests. You guys wanna get on either side of me? Misty, you're not joining us? No, Misty doesn't wanna join us. We're gonna get a photo. Let's do the thumbs up, guys, the thumbs up. Okay, you guys point with your right hand, point at the camera and make that, make the Trump angry face. We've got Chip right here. Chip from Nugget. Chip Nugget. Chuck, uh, Chip, where are you from? Burlington, uh, the Comfy Flannel. Comfy Flannel. And this is? Chuck Stedman reporting live, KTNV2 News, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys, for coming. Thank you for watching on YT, Tickety Talk. Uh, where goals 100,000. Join us on YT. Become a member. It's great. If you don't, subscribe at the very least. If you don't do that, you're fired. Follow us on Tickety Talk. On the Tickety Talk. If you're watching on TikTok, yeah. go up to the bio, click through to YouTube, and follow me there. They only said it once. It's fine. And follow me. Go to the thing, click through to YT, and click through and become a subscriber. You guys are absolutely fantastic. This is our ninth press conference nine hours of press conferences you guys were great we're out of here thank you let's go up to the uh up to the restaurant i'm not buying your lunch or anything but you guys can order uh, an appetizer on me get the get the uh the mozzarella sticks get the mozzarella sticks i don't, don't not not a full order though not a full order there we go